Ring a ding ding a ling. Welcome to uh, the penultimate edition of the Big Brother Titans Lowdown. Now, I say that because we're fast approaching the end of one of the, the most exciting and unpredictable season of Big Brother Titans. Brother Titans Lowdown. C'est presque fini, quoi. It's almost finished. Yeah, actually. Yeah, it's kind of coming to an end and it's rounding up real, real nicely. Definitely. Um, especially with how yesterday came about. Ooh. I gotta admit, this was, the, this was the biggest shocker I've gotten since Yemi Craze was evicted. Actually, no. You know what? I mean, I said it. I predicted it last week that um, Justin and Black Boy were going to leave because I thought that Justin didn't have enough of a stronghold. Yvonne had pulled him through the entirety of the show. And Black Boy was mostly from a place of like... It's not you're not that interesting for us to keep on the show. Everyone who made you interesting is gone, and so now we have nothing to I wouldn't to say that to. though. When it comes to Black Boy, I would disagree a little because he was actually pretty interesting. Check out his highlights. I he mean, had a lot of spice, you know. Yeah, but like for all the times where it's like he was a talk of like the town, it was in another person's context. Exactly. So it's like you know, it's like yeah, we can do without you. Yeah. It's a, that's what I said about the show. It's like people have to love you enough to want to vote for you yeah. or hate you enough to want to get you entirely off. You can't be in the middle and. Yeah. A show like this because it'll always like you know come back to bite yeah but you, i don't but... know where this man went wrong really the bang where he i mean yeah, the i mean the bang hit all the marks when you think about it mm-hmm. he was constantly talked about mm-hmm. he had enough drama he mm-hmm. was in several um situationships yeah and triangles so, he was cute as well I, he was I mean, south african he... i know what happened what happened the cozy magic the cozy juju the cozy effect i call really. it juju i don't think it's magic because i mean every single man that that woman touched is gone I mean, <laughs> no, think about it. Every single man that she laid her what? hands on is gone. Yeah. But guess who's still there? I know. She's Coastal. still there. I mean, I mean, I, to be honest, the thing is, someone was saying how they don't know what it is about her because they're like, oh, I don't think she's, I think she's beautiful. Some people are like, oh, I don't think she's that pretty. I think it's just her aura that's causing the people who love her to love her as much as they do. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's a combination of everything because all three men couldn't have been pining for you and all of them are gone and you're the last woman standing. Andy. Now, I think uh, so there's been us, a Kirstie. gradual shift in the kinds of winners that we have or the kinds of finalists that we have in right. Big Brother. I mean, I've noticed this since Big Brother Africa, down to BB Nigeria, and down to the BB Titans. Mm-hmm. Apparently, uh, you know, there's a shift towards a certain kind of winner now. They right. want, people no longer just want a winner that looks the part, mm-hmm. but now has like some kind of character right. to boot. Right. So now, if you ask me, Magic withheld. I do actually think that Kosi stands a very high chance of, of winning. winning this time around. But then again, we have power players you. like uh, Kanaga Jr. Mm. still in the house. Apparently, he's with the cat with nine lives mm. out in the house and back in the house again. And then we have uh, the darling Ibubu, yeah, you know, who has managed he it's and his Ipiling. pair, he and Tatsi, yeah, who were the only pair mm-hmm. standing. Well, the only pair standing actually. Yeah, the Royals right now. lasted throughout the entire season, True that. and now they're finalists. And now we have Ipaleng the Pengaleng. Mm. Interesting. I mean, stuff. to be fair, I think that um, at every point, I feel like now Kosi real would I mean is realizing more than ever how strong um of a player she is because it's like, and w- one thing that it always works in her favor is every time that she's pit against a person, it's that the love for her is so much that people are like. Even if we like this person, we like you know, you even more. read so, Tabang, so, we like you more. So why though? I want to examine the Kosi ma- magic a little bit. Why that, do you think Kosi was uh, so spectacular? In the I game? think one of the things that really makes her like the player that she is, is she's playing a man's game. Yeah, I in a agree world with that. of men, like it's yeah. a we're, we live in a in, you know an environment of patriarchy, and it's like she's playing the game that a man would play and get away with it as easily, and she's doing it even smoother and getting away with it. And so people are just like, you know what? It's high time we have a woman on the show who isn't like pining for a man who's mm. doing exactly what she who wants. Who isn't second fiddle in anyone's story, but Literally, is the main she's character. She's the main character in every single person's story. Mm. Every single person wants her and she's the one dictating who and who she's going to be with and how they conduct themselves around her. Definitely. There are you know? so many lessons to be learned from uh, this season, particularly in the way Kosi handled her affairs. Mm-hmm. Although I'm not really going to sit here and say that manipulation and, you know, playing a double <laughs> game is the way to go about it, it. But, but of course if that's what they're doing to mm, you it's only right that you return the energy that is something also, i would say that she did to yemi craig's i mean yemi craig started the whole yeah i mean he wrote the book of it's a double dating and then she did it and she did it even better than yeah she won up him and again i i usually like to give the benefit of the doubt because again it's a game that they're playing i don't always you know leave the show 
you know, assuming that everybody who's in there is giving us the entirety 100%, no holdbacks of their character. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like they go out of character or they fall back into character depending on whatever it is. It's a situation at hand. And I, I think mean, that might be the case for Kosi because I'd, I'd like to believe that she's not that kind of person who's going to two-time four men at the same time. But if you worked for her on the show and if it's going to get her $100,000... Honey. Well, I mean, with a camera present, anything can happen, really. True. So uh, let's not make it all about Kosi, though, because she might not eventually uh, be the winner. Like, we, right, we might be right. predicting at this Yeah, there's still valuable time. people, yeah. too. Yeah, so, like, it's great. I mean, what a journey we've had. Such a lovely uh, season. I mean, yeah. the elections came about, and, of course, a lot of our mm-hmm. focus was shifted. Off and I think them. we haven't really quite come, come back to this mm. Big Brother Fair because a lot of people yeah. are still out of touch with what's going on in the true, show. But true. so far, so good. A good season. Strong characters. Remarkable people. Who was your favorite of everyone that's left prior to this moment? I mean, Yvonne is still there. So yes. we shouldn't forget Definitely. that. Yvonne, Yvonne is also yes. a really strong... Yes! Honey! Yeah, I'm so glad Yvonne made like, it this I feel far. like if you're talking about... Especially because of how she started. Like, you she know? started with, like, a lot of weird energy and people like, oh, who's this girl calling other people thing and, you know, saying she didn't come out to make friends. And she had a great ship. And she, her and, uh, and Juicy J were lovely. I really did love that. I her. absolutely love that Definitely. too. And I also like the way that her dynamic, she was able to sort of like go from being just like a flat character into a round character. And, you know, after Ibuka like sort of like prodded her a little bit, she was able to be like, you know what? I guess I'm here for a reason. And she turned around completely and it's She was a little bit about everything. And I think the best time. part about her is because she could as- adapt. Because at some point she was easily. a gossip. Yeah. At some point she was a good friend. Yeah. I mean, Yvonne kind of like brought the whole package Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She, was, she became a round character Definitely. at the end of the day. And I love that for for her. Um, also, I think that Tabang was one of my favorite um, people. You already said that. You just love Tabang the show. way no, too I do much. love him. And the reason I do is because at every point, you can tell that he's being as much of himself as he possibly can in a way that he's being honest, he's being straightforward. And even at the point when you feel like he's not being straightforward, you can tell that he's already given like a preeminence of I'm not being honest with you. Ibuka did ask him, though, if everything was a strategy, and he's claimed that it wasn't. But I strongly doubt that. The I band strongly doubt that, seemed too. very strategic throughout the entire series. Yeah. Anyway, for me, though, people I do miss is Blue Ivor. I mean, I do miss Blue Ivor a whole lot. Mm. And, of course, uh, Yemi Craig's, because I really did not want him to leave. But he apparently, played himself his, is his what he did. era has passed. Because yeah. looking at the previous winners of Big Brother, from Richard mm-hmm. uh, to Rico to Idris Sultan, mm. Yemi is a textbook Big Brother winner. True. But I don't know... Like I said before, the, it's the, Kosi the manner, baby, right? I, not just Kosi, things have changed generally. Yeah. The kind of winners we expect from Big Brother House, look at now, Lacon, mm. White Money, Fina. People now expect you to be more than just a uh, TV face or, uh, you know, a uh, popular man about town. Now you just got to be a uh, rounded person. Right. Like I you think, would say. And also, I think a lot of the time people have voted based, based off of like pity or like, you know, a desire to make this person's life better or yeah. whatever it is. And I think now, that's what's currently happening though. That that might still be the kind of era we're in where people still vape on sentimental think, reasons. I mean, I still think there's a lot of sentiments going on but I don't know, I'm depending sure, on who wins, be- though. Yeah, because right now, I think it's more, especially because of the past winners, and people, a lot of a bunch of them have come out, and they have, um, you know, made it look as though it's like, oh, what kind of winner is this? Why is this person behaving yeah. this way? So now people are like, okay, we want to be a little more conscious with who we're going to pick as a winner for the face of the show. For me, my top three would be Kosi, Kanaga, and Yvonne, because those three people are really strong, and I- they've made it through the season, regardless of all the back and forth. Yeah, win. top three finalists, okay. Yeah. So in exactly. your opinion, the arrangement is Kosi, Kosi Kanaga, Kanaga, and, and Yvonne. Yvonne yeah. Okay, I mean, I want to put it at a Kanaga, mm-hmm. Kosi. Mm-hmm. I mean, is it going to be Yvonne? I mean, Tatsi is in the house. Ibubu. Let me put it like this. Mm-hmm. For me, I'm mm-hmm. going to put it like this. Kanaga, Kosi, and Ibubu. Okay. Let's see how sure. we go. Fingers crossed. Who do you think is going to win the uh, Big, Big Brother, Brother Titan? Titan. Like, Just got one shot. This is a prediction a here. And there's shot. money involved. Oh there's a couple of Lord. dollars. We're going to bet $100 oh, between me and you. Who is going to take the money? I don't know. It's such a hard one to pick. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go with Kosi. Well, since I don't want to do the same as you, I'll go with Kanaga Jr. Right. I was going to go with Kanaga Jr. Do you want us to switch? switch? No, nah, first words only. <laughs> Let's see uh, what's going to happen in the next and final episode of uh, Big Brother Lowdown. Yeah. We're going to be come back and tell you who won the show. Hopefully, I win and I get to claim uh, the prize money we just put on the line. The $100 is what he said, baby. Yeah. So, see, we come your way next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Hasta luego.